All right, guys, continuing on the passenger side, I'm going to take the seatbelt retractor, seatbelt buckle, <clears throat> and the bolts for the mounting brackets for the actual seat on the passenger side. Same thing, there's two little tabs. And I'm going to pop that. Stick finger in there. That side slides up. Oh, yeah. Same thing as the other side. Might be a little boring. Some people might ask why I'm not using air tools when it comes to trusty old bolts like the trusty El Manuel ratchet. This way I can feel it before I snap it. I don't know. I'm going to try a little different camera angle this time. This is the uh, buckle end of the passenger side. Belt. Let me pull this back. This should slide up a little bit. Ooh, I want to come up. Oh, yeah. A little work on that one. We got it. Okay, put the bolt out, slip this cover off, hopefully, now we can pull them through the seat. Now I don't know if you can see in this picture, there's a plastic guard on the bottom of the seat, so you got to Separate these buckles a little bit and send them through one at a time. And they're twisting. So see if they pull one through. And then we'll pull the other one through. So we don't break that little guard. All right, guys, I'm going to make an attempt to try and take this seat out by myself. We'll see. If it works, if not, then I'll have to wait until I get somebody to help me. Get it unstuck from the rug. I'm going to be all right. We'll see. Can do. Oh, 
I'm getting there. I'm getting there. We're at the hook. We are making progress. The front seat is out. Now this is factory original material. Pull this back. It's all factory. It's it's anchored on, so I have to cut it off. That's like in really good shape. Now this got a lot of Swiss cheese. Fresh air ventilation. Not supposed to be there, but I've been waiting 30 plus years to start doing this, and it's finally coming together. So, the next project is taking that out, which shouldn't be too bad because it's all just sitting in there. So, maybe we'll do that right now. All right, guys, it's tough to get a good camera angle, but I'm gonna pull these. Two sections of the back seat out, which are, should just be laying in here. Oh, there's another piece of trim. Oh, one. A bunch of acorns. That's a good sign. I was looking for this. This is the other door sill trim that was MIA until now. These are both the lower trim panels that go right about there on the interior, the cigarette lighter trays. I'm gonna put them over there for now. And now the lower back half. Oh, bolted in there maybe? I don't think so. There we go. Well, and more signs of resonance. There you go. Now it's condo. All right. Yeah, oh yeah. Let me see that from that camera angle. A little bit of a nest going on in there. But give you a different point of view of how good the condition is. All right. So this is the back seat. Bolt sections, the top and the bottom. Now these are original. And look what kind of condition they're in. There is very little wear and tear. There's no rips. In perfect condition. I don't even know if I'm going to have them redone because it's just, but there's no cushion. <laughs> Let's, uh, see. We had some residents, some squatters. There's not much. Oh, look, there's even a little wasp nest down there in the corner, if you can see that. But 
I had to step away from the camera. It was a little emotional. It's been uh, 30 plus years and I'm finally getting to be able to put my car, take it apart and hopefully put it back together. So uh, the next video we'll start uh, pulling the carpet out, cleaning it out, maybe vacuum it, assess the uh, full amount of damage to the sheet metal and the flooring. Obviously, we got that situation going on right there. I believe back here is pretty solid. It's just the front foot pans on that side and the driver's side. So uh, stay tuned. Comment, post, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you.